In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to find and use mud in your Minecraft world. Please know that these are only in snapshots at the moment, but once you see 1.19 being released, this will be in your world. To find mud in Minecraft, you will need to locate a swamp or a mangrove swamp biome. This is where the mud will generate most. However, you can make mud yourself by grabbing a water bottle and right clicking it on a block of dirt. Make sure that this is a dirt block and not a grass block, otherwise the mud will not generate. Using a water bucket and placing it on top of a dirt block will not generate mud. You need to use a water bottle. You can use a dispenser to turn dirt into mud so automating this into some kind of farm is very possible. Mud is also the same height as soul sand, so the player will sink when they change from grass to mud. You can also use dripstone and mud to create clay. Simply put mud blocks in the air and put some dripstone beneath the mud. This will eventually dry out and the mud will become clay. There are multiple blocks that come with mud, including the muddy mangrove root block. This will generate around a mangrove tree. Now to mud's uses. Mud can be converted into packed mud and then into mud bricks and multiple other kinds of blocks. To get packed mud, we are going to make a crafting bench or we'll press E and use our inventory crafting menu. We then want to grab some wheat and mud and put them into the crafting bench in no particular pattern. We will then receive packed mud. Once you have created packed mud, the tool of uses switches from a shovel to a pickaxe as it's now compact. We can now use packed mud to create mud bricks by placing a 2x2 square in our crafting bench. We can then use those bricks to create mud stairs and mud walls and mud slabs. Now like other building blocks, we can make these in the crafting menu, but we can also use the stone cutter to get the maximum amount of blocks per brick. All mud blocks can be mined by hand until you convert it into mud bricks. Then you will require a pickaxe to get your block back. Mud has a very unique sound to other blocks when placed and walked on. So that is how you find and use mud in Minecraft. And if you found this video useful, please like the video and comment below telling me what you plan on using mud for. And as always, if you wish to see some more helpful videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.